Good morning, guys. I, well, it's, yeah, it is morning still. I've just woken up well late because my alarm didn't go off for some reason. It just got stuck on the screen. I think it's because it hit, like, the 20% mark. I was like, your battery's getting low. It just froze on it. Anyway, the reason why I'm vlogging today, um, and it'll be over the next few days, is because I won't be able to put out any content on Twitch, won't be able to stream, etc. You know what I mean? It's early for me. <laughs> um, so I'm going to be vlogging instead as I've got a lot going on. I'm away from my house. Well, not right now. I will be. Um, I'm going away to something called Artifakes, which is a prop making course in Norwich. And um, yeah, I've got a lot to do on the days coming up to that. So that is going to be happening on Friday over till Monday. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to take you along with me. Time to get me my morning cup of tea and some cereal, well, I guess. Don't know what's in. Disappointing. Over here. Still disappointing. Uh, <laughs> choices. Uh, you know what really annoys me about this house? This kettle. You have to do it on the hob. It's not an electric one. I mean... How much have we like gone back into the past here? Bloody fill this thing up. I can't do it with one hand. And then I have to wait for it to whistle. Which, you know, may as well be camping. So my plans are today are to get ready and then I've got to get all my clothes together to take to Artifakes with me. Then I need to package up cosplay prints, go to the post office and send them off. And I need to go to the supermarket and get some food and bits. And then later I'm going to my grandmama's, staying there at night and then we've got a big project tomorrow. Mm. How disappointing, you can see how suddenly how dark it's gone. A moment ago it was lovely sunshine. And now it's taking it down with rain and I've got to walk everywhere. Yay! I'm looking a little bit more alive now. I'm going to start doing some prints so they can go to the post office and deal with the rest of my day. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to better get these done. I never know what to write, but we'll see. Right, um, about to go out. Decided I'm not going to walk all the way to the supermarket. I'm going to uh, nip to the local shop instead and see if they've got anything there. They've got a spa. Around the corner. The only issue we're going to spa is there's this really crazy woman who works there, and she's actually kind of terrifying. She's like, "Oh, hello!" She won't know anyone. She speaks at that pitch constantly. And I wore a necklace once with like keys on it. She's like, "Oh, are they your house keys?" I'm like, no, just a necklace. She's so scary. So I really hope she isn't there because I just know she'll say something, and I'll be like going. Mm, please don't serve me. Like last time, I was just trying to, like the other day, I went into the spa, just wanted to have a look at food, and she goes, Oh, you're having your brows, deciding what you want. It's like, because I've been there for more than two minutes, like, yeah. Go, move, move. And I was actually physically trying to avoid her. I actually went around a different aisle, but she still clocked me and starts speaking in a really screechy, high pitched voice. So I'm a bit terrified about going there and getting booze. And plus, I don't know if I'm going to get ID'd. The first time I went out with pink hair, and last time I went out with coloured hair, I got really weirdly ID'd. Like, it's not just like, oh, can I check your ID? It's, okay, I'm going to write down your name. Um, I'm going to say, what's your age? What colour would you call your hair? And start writing all this description about me. So I'm a bit scared, and because that was spa as well. Never had that anywhere else. But we'll see. I'll see if I can get any fruit cider in there. If not, I'm just going to uh, get a lift down to Morrison's tomorrow instead, because I'm going to do it then. It's too heavy to carry a great big crate of something on a 30 minute walk. My arms will drop off because, yeah. So I'm going to post um, the prints out as well, sorted all them out. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. It's pretty successful. Got my drinks, posted my letter, also got myself a cheeky sandwich. Win-win, I think. 
actually too warm to be wearing this hat and coat. Way too warm. I want to say though, I'm so glad I did the 10 minute walk to the shops rather than the uh, 30 minute walk because the hands were carrying the bag. Ah, my poor tiny hands. Eesh. Not great. I've got to try and get into the door now. Now I've got other keys. Gold key. The golden key. Let's get me in. Oh, so warm. Ah, shopper. There we go. It fell. I hope that's not my sandwich. <laughs> right. Bag. Please say you haven't. Whoa, thank God for that. So I've also got a bunch of copper bag, fridge pack, but my sandwich has survived. My chicken fillet sandwich. Hey, hey. In the time that I've got left before I get picked up, which is about two hours, I've kind of set myself a task. Well, I say it ages ago, I just forgot about it until last night, which is not great. But when I go away to Artie Fakes, it is Tabby's birthday. And I, I like to pride myself on thinking that I'm quite good at gifts and stuff that I know. I can pick little bits of someone's identity and be able to get a good gift. And I know Tabby is very into like personalised custom stuff. And don't worry, I've got a present, so I'm not going to talk about that. No, this is the card. Now, I forgot, like, two weeks ago, I started designing a card for her. Um, issue is, I forgot about it. So I'm probably going to have to, I'll finish it now or tonight, the actual card. It's, it's hard to explain without giving too much away. But whether I can get it printed at home is a different thing. If not, I'm going to have to send it. <laughs> Like ahead of me, if you get me, so I'm going there, but I'm gonna have to post it there, <laughs> which is a little bit of a stupid thing to do if I had actually remembered. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping it goes to plan, um, but yeah, because it, it will fit in with what I've got her, which is why I kind of want it to work. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself a hot chocolate and get cracking with this. <laughs> morning guys it is it's thursday today oh, i've had the worst night's sleep so i just put a spoon on to place and i'll fall past but jesus i'm not my friends by the way and last night's uh well kind of got cut short you'll see today uh making the cake i thought that i made actual cake itself yesterday Any gamers recognise what I'm making? Anyone? Any guesses? No, my dad. Got a half finished cake at the moment, need to do the other side. Oh yeah, I should do that with my camera because it's no good. Pretty much all packed for Artifakes tomorrow now. 
I'm quite impressed. So when I left it so last minute, I kept saying I was going to do it, I was going to do it, but then I kept on emptying my suitcase and stuff. I'm awful, that sort of thing. But um, yeah, not done too badly. I've still got a laptop to fit in there. And I haven't folded my onesie up yet, I can't be bothered. All right, my makeup bag sat on the top because obviously I need it tomorrow. But yeah, <laughs> this was also an issue. I've got to carry this around. But I mean, I can't not take that. I mean, come on. And Gabby's presents. They're kind of an issue as well. But yeah, I've got my clothes. I got some extras just in case. I'm a girl. Come on, you need to, like hair products and shit. My makeup bag. <laughs> I've taken loads of makeup out of my makeup bag. That's like my bare minimum of like makeups and stuff. They're in, all in this pocket, in that pocket. My foundation's on the front. I think I'm just about ready. Exciting times. I've been looking at my schedule. It's like it's over six and a half hours. I um I set off about eleven o'clock tomorrow and I arrive after five sometime <laughs> but I've got to go I hate traveling alone like one thing I really hate is traveling alone the most I've traveled alone is about an hour and a half sorry my hair is such a mess today I'm just yeah giving up with it I'm giving up with this blah. um yeah I've got to go from Beach to Chester to Chester to Crewe to Crewe to Stockport to Stockport to Norwich Like six and a half hours. Oh, I hate traveling alone because I have no sense of direction at all. It is not going to be fun. So what I forgot to say was I was going to dye my hair. Well, I'm going to re-dye it. So I have dyed it purple. Can you see? Can you see the proof? Can you see? No, because I'm not going to show you my hair. But you can see the hand. Um, With my hair. My hair's so weird that I... um. Because I've just got a weird type of hair. It's it can be really curly or it can drop out and just be like a big frizz ball. So I usually go to bed like with my hair wet, like for a while until just chill out. Then let it go and don't comb my hair. If I do that, my hair goes nice. If I comb it, like whilst it's wet, my hair is an absolute disaster zone. So I have to keep it wet and then comb it when it's dry. So annoying, but yeah, I feel awful. Ugh. Like, I was saying at the start that um, I didn't sleep much last night. The um, house we're staying in is obviously a really old, old house. Floorboard creaked. The dog downstairs starts making these horrible demonic noises just as the floorboard creaked outside my door. Like, <laughs> Like that, because it was coughing up a third ball, and oh my god, I was like that going, what the fuck is that? I, I hated it, I absolutely hated it, it was not fun. Not remotely one bit, so I feel awful. That, and I'm so stressed, scared, anxious. Ugh, I just, this whole travelling situation does not suit me. I get that it's like, between, like, if it's going for an interview or anything, I just get in this state and I just work myself up, and I'm so worked up right now. Like, nothing, like, will go wrong, but I just get so worked up, and I just see faults and everything, I'm like, oh god, oh god. So hopefully everything goes smoothly, otherwise I'll probably just end up crying at a train station. Pretty much sums me up. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm probably going to sign off here, because I'm so tired. So early, but I'm so tired. But then I probably won't sleep. Because I'm so nervous and anxious and my stomach can blah, 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 because I'm nervous and anxious. Um, yeah. I'm trying to watch videos just to make me a bit sleepy. Well, you know, like super sleepy so that you try and like stay awake and you're like, no, I'm going to watch a little bit more to the end of this video. I'm trying to do that at the moment. Whether it works is another thing entirely, but yeah. Until then. <laughs> I, I actually can I just say this? <laughs> it's it's not just on my hands. I had scrub there's like patches still on my face, don't know if you can see it. Oh sorry. Um Yeah. I had to put a bit of bleach in bath water and 
to scrub myself with bleach because so much of me turned purple. It was inexcusable. Never before have I had purple boobs. Anyway, on that note, goodbye. <laughs>